On this episode of the Nationwide Real Estate Mastery Podcast, we sit down to uncover exactly how to choose a virtual market when wholesaling houses. You don't want to miss this one. Welcome to the Nationwide Real Estate Mastery Podcast, where we provide actionable steps to help you get your first or next real estate deal. Now, during this episode, you're going to discover exactly how to choose a virtual market when wholesaling houses. For those of you who are new to the show, my name is Sean Young, today's host, and I love all things real estate. So guys, let's go ahead and jump right into it. These are going to be the nine basic steps that you can use when you're out there trying to decide where you want to do business when you're not doing business in your backyard. We call that virtual wholesaling. So the first factor that you want to consider when you're choosing a virtual market or choosing a location is you want to choose a market with a population of at least 250,000 or more. Why is this important? It's very important because if you have a population that's, let's say, 15,000, your chances of being able to scale and grow a business are going to be a lot um, a lot less than if you have the opportunity with a population of, of course, 250,000 or more. The more people that you have in your territory, the better. All right, let's head on to number two. Population is growing. You want to make sure that people are moving into the market. You don't want to do business or choose a market where the population is declining and there's no growth, no population growth. That's going to be very important as well. And that plays into number one, which was a population size of at least 250K or more. So you got to be paying attention to what's happening in that market. Things that are very easy for you to determine very, very quickly. Number three, find out if there are existing investors doing deals in this market currently. Guys, if people are not doing business in the market that you're doing business in, do not think that you're going to go there and reinvent that wheel. I know that it may feel like, hey, I, I found a gold mine. There's a, a property that I found way out in the middle of nowhere and, um, and you can't find any comps on it. But hey, you feel like you've got a great deal that you can get under contract. I promise you guys, nine out of 10 times, what you'll find is that you'll not you'll 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 not be able to sell that deal. You won't be able to sell that deal. You end up you'll end up having to back out of that agreement and it'll be just a big waste of your time. So guys, as we know, time is money. Time is money. Time is something that we can't get back. So you want to value your time very well when you're approaching this business. All right, let's head to number four. Don't fear competition in markets, guys. Instead, seek opportunities for collaboration. And what do I mean by that? Now, we have to be realistic and understand that there are a lot of people who are entering into the space or dabbling into the space of wholesaling. And why is this happening? Why is this phenomenon occurring? It's not because wholesaling is some brand new uh, thing or it's something that just was, was just invented. It's been happening forever. Um, the reason why it's become popular now is because of the advent of social media, uh, YouTube, you know, gurus out there posting videos with yachts and Lamborghinis and all these great things that, that you know, give out a lot of advice that say things like, hey, guys, if you just follow this advice, you'll be a millionaire. You know, I, I'm sure you guys see all those videos popping up in your feeds all the time, right? They get kind of tiring after a while. And, and I, like I'm saying, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I was one of those people posting videos like that because I didn't know any better. I was thinking that that's what you had to do. Now, what I decided to do instead of posting, um, you know, inspirational videos that, you know, hey, guys, you can if you just try this, you'll make a you know, you can make six or seven figures. No, what I what I in turn show, started to do was just show what I was doing. And uh, and just be, you know, be genuine, be be a genuine, transparent um, go giver, uh, be a genuine, a genuous expert. Uh, 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 that's that's what you want to seek to be out there, guys, um, when you're trying to help out others. So that's just a, a tidbit of advice. Once you do start seeing um, some success here, there's definitely going to be folks that are going to look to you for help and advice and inspiration. Be careful which avenue you go down. All right. All right. That heads us into number five, which is locate the pockets in your market where there are a lot of deals closing. So let me let me kind of back up to number four just a little bit more. Let me speak on that a tad bit more. 
um, with the competition piece, if you guys, if we've got one bowl of dog food, let's say, and we've got 20 dogs trying to eat out of that, out of that one bowl. All right. It's apparent that all 20 dogs are not going to get an equal share of food from that bowl. Some dogs are going to eat. Some dogs are not going to eat. Some are going to eat more than others. Some are going to eat just by proximity on where the bowl was set down and where they were standing at. So that's the, the, the luck factor, so to speak. However, you have to be in it to, to win it. So if you're not in it and paying attention, that luck wouldn't matter at all. So with the competition, you have to be aware that there are a lot of folks that are entering into our space. Um, but what you need to understand is that not a lot of folks are, are going to be as dedicated and professional as you are if you are taking this serious to make this a true business versus a get rich overnight um, opportunity, like a get in and get out opportunity. If you take this serious, guys, collaboration uh, is going to be key. So you want to seek collaboration over competition. So I don't want to make it appear as if there is no competition out there. There's definitely competition. However, you don't want to make that be something that keeps you out of the, the business or keeps you discouraged. You want to look at that as just an opportunity for collaboration. That means that there's more wholesalers out there for you to JV with. What does JV mean? It means joint venture. So guys, don't be afraid of competition. There's really, it's really how you view it. Competition is all about how you view it. So now let's head back to number five, locating those pockets in your market where there's a lot of deal closing activity going on. That's easy to do, guys. I use a tool that's called Privy, and um, it's a phenomenal, phenomenal tool. I will leave a link in the description for you guys to check it out. Um, it's the tool that I use to, to find properties to find where activities, um, where the activity is going on. So I know where to choose a market. I could literally take, you know, five or 10 minutes um, using this tool and determine if a market is, is viable or not for, for me to spend my, my, my resources there. So the tool is awesome, guys. Again, it's called Privy and I'll, I'll leave a link down in the description. So that's going to be crucial, guys. Know where the activity is going on. Where are the pockets of activity so that you know where to targetly invest your dollars? All right. Number six, doing business in metro areas versus rural areas. Now, as I said before, guys, yes, you can do deals in rural areas, but in order to scale, you want comps that are going to be easy to obtain like they are in cookie cutter neighborhoods, so to speak or in neighborhoods where there's just a lot of activity going on. There's a lot of fixing and flipping going on. That lets you know that, that this is a, a good market for you to do your business in. It ties right back into number five, guys. All right, let's move on, on to number seven. Markets below national median of approximately 430,000 are going to become more attractive as people relocate in more affordable cities excuse me, as, as more people relocate to more affordable cities with more affordable home prices. So that's going to be a, a key factor to consider when you're going into these markets. Figure out what is the median home price. That's very easy to, to determine and to figure out, guys. You can use a number of tools out there uh, to figure that out. I don't want to spend this uh, session here as a tool pitching session um, because I don't I don't want to do that. I want you guys to be able to take the action and find the tools that are going to be most beneficial to you to find success. All right. So don't get hung up on the specifics of the tools. Understand what you're using the tool to do. Find the median home price. All right. So don't make it look don't make it more complicated than that, guys. All right. Let's roll on into number eight. Avoid non-disclosure states. What that means, guys, is states that do not require to report the sale, making it hard to find comps on the property and the prices that they were sold for. Imagine that, guys. Imagine you're trying to comp a property and uh, you, you can't find any sale prices. You're only seeing estimates. That's going to be very hard for you to do business in that in that territory. So just consider that. Keep that in mind. Unless you have a way around that, um, it's going to be very tough. And I, I can tell you this, guys, a huge um, another huge tool, um, which I, I'm going to mention. I'm only going to mention one on this episode, and that's going to be Privy. Privy will allow you to find those non-disclosure comps in, in the non-disclosure states. So go ahead and take a look at Privy, guys. I, I've, like I say, I've got a link in the description to give you a little free trial discount. 
Um, you'll get a, a, a demo session, all of that, guys. That's what I use in my business every day. So I'm giving you guys the tools. I'm giving you the sauce, so to speak. All right, let's head to number nine, the final step, guys. Commit to the market. Learn your market. Find buyers and do lots of deals. If you're not aware of what the four pillars of the deal process are, guys, it's number one, picking a market, what we've just covered today. Next is number two, finding buyers, which was the final step that we covered here today. Number three is going to be finding motivated sellers. And number four is the acquisitions process, which is the process of getting that property actually under contract so that you can get it sold to your cash buyers. If you go in any other order than that, you're going to be confused. Trust me. So follow that order. It's, it's a tried, true method. And uh, anything else will have you extremely confused. Do not, do not jump in this, guys, expecting immediate results. That's what I'm telling you. You're going to hear and see a lot of gurus out there that are going to say, hey, I, I did this and in my first week. I, I made $50,000. Hey, listen, that happens. It happens every single day. Believe me. But you don't want to measure yourself on things that are probably not going to be your results based upon whatever your reality is on, on the factors of, of why that would not happen or why it would happen. Just be real with yourself. And the reason why that's very important is because if you're not real with yourself, you're going to set yourself up for the, the failures, which is you're going to start doubting this. You're going to start saying, man, does this even work? You're going to doubt your, 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 your coach. You're going to doubt your, your course, whatever it is that, that's, that you're using or watching, you're going to doubt the YouTube gurus and gurus, and uh, you're going to start just doubting things. And you're going to ask yourself, does this, does this stuff even work? Is this even real? Why am I doing this? This, this is crazy. All I, do, all I get is hung up on all day. It seems like no one wants to sell the, their property. Yes, this is real, guys. This is 100% real. People can make a great living out of this business, including myself. I've been in this business since 2016, and I'm, I'm going to tell you guys, I've had my ups, and I've had my downs, and I've had my ups, and it's, that's the nature of entrepreneurship. Uh, what you want to strive for is balancing that out and keeping those ups way higher than, than your downs, all right? That's going to be key, but the main factor when you're first starting out is give yourselves at least a, a 90 to 180-day runway to find success, guys. Anything less than that, you're not committing. You're not committing yourself. You're looking for, again, a, a quick get rich opportunity. And, and that's not what this is, guys. That's not what this is. So don't focus on the results, guys. Focus on being consistent. Consistency will create momentum and that momentum will create the results. All right, we're going to wrap this up, guys. I'm going to give you um, a final bonus here. I'm going to give you 12 wholesaling markets that you can do deals in virtually right now that are absolutely crushing it and it, this is in no particular order guys so get your pen and paper out guys get ready to take some notes here all right number one market richmond virginia number two hampton roads newport news virginia number three fayetteville north carolina number four Pensacola to Tallahassee region of Florida, that whole panhandle that region down there. Number five, Dayton, Ohio, Montgomery County. Number six, Macon, Georgia, Bibb County. Number seven, Beaumont, Texas, and Houston, Texas. Number eight, Detroit, Michigan, Wayne County. Number nine, Onslow County, North Carolina. Number 10, Chattanooga, Tennessee. Number 11, Fresno, California. And number 12, Birmingham, Alabama. And I'm going to throw out an extra bonus for you guys. Tampa, Florida. All right. I hope that everyone has enjoyed this episode. Remember, guys, go out there and fail your way forward. Take massive, imperfect action. This is your year to find success, guys. If there's anything that I could do to help you, feel free to schedule a call with me. 
and my team to see if we'd be a good fit to work together, and I'd be more than happy to help you reach your goals. Until then, guys, you can catch me on any one of my social media platforms. I'll see you all on the other side.